Hey, dude. <laughs> what are you? Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> okay. That's uh. Looks like you just put very awkwardly put on a dog face, <laughs> like a dog snout. <laughs> Are you, is this your first step into becoming a furry? Uh, no, I just wanted to put on a little costume. Because <laughs> it's Halloween. It, she was a trying costume. to put it on over her headphones and it just kept getting stuck. And it, it looks like a nut sack on my head right now. It's not the, it, it look, it's cute. It's, it looks like a Snapchat filter. Oh, yeah. All right. That's, I'm done. Did you smack, like snap yourself in the face with the elastic? No, it just, like, got caught tangled in my headphones. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, hey, guys. uh, I'm Erin. I'm Nicole. This is a dude that's fucked up. Yeah, that was Uh, fucked up. (laughs) Welcome, people, to the pod. Um, Yeah, that was a fun fun little thing. Happy Mm -hmm. Halloween, bitch. Happy Halloween, bitch. Or witch. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Uh, I'm feeling like a very powerful witch today. Are you? Yeah, it. Listen, it's the season of the Scorpio. Oh, it is my season. Oh, I am ready. Mm. I told my mom this morning. I'm feeling very witchy, very powerful, mm. ready to fuck shit up. So, what does that mean? You're gonna make some moves. You're gonna, gonna be bold and and proceed and make some moves in the world. Maybe, maybe mm. I'm just gonna be like sexy and powerful, and like people are gonna be like, whoa. I don't know. But use your powers for good. I will. I will. Okay. I will. G- good for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. It was a, uh, I like made like a, a witch, witchy playlist last night. It's, it's uh, on Spotify if anybody wants to listen to it. Oh, that sounds fun. It's fun. Um, That's what, what I do when like, I get in. Is it all like Stevie Nicks and ooh, lot. Ooh, which woman? Lot of, lot of, uh, lot of Fleetwood Mac on there, um, but also just like other, like really, like some like I don't know, like Susie and the Banshees and Kate Bush and shit. Huh. Like there's all kinds of fun synthy witchy songs. What about the Monster Mash? Mm, <laughs> that is not, not that's that's no. like the equivalent of a fart in the middle of a song. <laughs> Or in the middle of a playlist. It's like, yeah. okay, well, no. <laughs> well, everybody skip. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how uh, how you doing? How's everything going? Good. Um, yeah, it's Halloween today when we're recording. Happy Halloween. Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> um, yeah, not, uh, not too much going on. Well, we couldn't record on Sunday because I had some vertigo. So I had to like do these weird little exercises where you like intentionally make yourself dizzy. Yeah, you it's, like hang, you'd like move your head in a certain way. And yeah, go all these exercises did it work? Yeah, but, but I so Good. I did that and then I had to take a nap, kind of like sitting up, and then uh, oh, that sucks it, so bad because your stomach hurts and stuff. It like makes you nauseous. So yeah, because your inner when your inner inner ear gets all fucked up, you lose your balance really easily and yeah. you are like dizzy. Yeah. DJ's so. dad has vertigo really bad. Oh, or really? He had it really bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, he doesn't have it anymore. He does every now and then, but like he had it to the point where it was like he was like he was like throwing up and stuff. So it's, oh it God. could be really bad. So yeah, it sucks. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry that you had that happen. It well, sucks. that's okay. How was your birthday? It was super fun. Um, we went curling. <laughs> The uh, really is sexy that, Olympic sport. Is that the one where you curling? spin around really fast and then? No, throw? no. I think you're. I think you're thinking of uh, shot put. <laughs> Wait, I was gonna no. say. I think you're thinking of uh, uh, drinking softball. Or <laughs> <laughs> you like go on the bat and go around in circles? No, no, no. Uh, it's curling's like on ice, and you like have the big heavy stones that you push across the ice. And then you sweep to get him in the target, the bullseye target circle thing. Like it's sweep, really hard. You sweep right in front of it, right? Yeah, to like get the ice smooth so that it goes faster and yeah. straighter. It's a. I have a new appreciation for it. That seems a, mental. I know. The whole time I was like, "Who the fuck thought of this shit? Who I? 
listen, <laughs> all the weirdest sports are from like countries that have cold weather, I think. And like everybody's not a lot bored. going on. Yeah. yeah that- everybody's like. God damn it. <laughs> that seems like a sport that like parents invented. They're like, fuck, our kids are annoying the shit out of us. Here's a broom. Go outside on the ice. I'm going to give yeah. you this thing and then scrape around the ice really fast. And it, I don't know. Like, it's just. Yeah, I definitely have a new appreciation for it. But the funny thing about it is, is that uh, so a uh, DJ has done it a few times before. It's really fun. So he like gets a group of friends together and he d- tries to do it every year. But you have to like book it really har- far out in advance because it they don't it's not really it, lots of people try to do it it's like not really open to the public it's like you have to be in a club so when they do mm-hmm. have these like sessions where you could just walk in off the street and do it you have to like make it, you have to reserve it and make an appointment so <laughs> he like called and was like yeah I want to reserve a uh, time to come in and uh, have a big group and so they were like yeah these are the dates we have available it just so happened it was like my birthday. <laughs> Oh. And the other one was like really far, far away. And he was just like, can we just do it on, on your birthday? <laughs> so it wasn't like it was a thing that I was like, oh, I want to go curling. <laughs> it was because DJ like <laughs> scheduled it on my birthday and was like, oh, we could do it for your birthday. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, and then you're like a good cool. wife. So you're like. Yeah. No, I it was fine. I, I don't give a fuck about my birthday. I yeah. mean, it's like I'm getting less. uh you, particular you, you don't have I a don't, lot of expectations i have yeah i've already done it all i've had super fun uh birthdays in the past and you know what i don't i'm an adult mm-hmm. and um I, it's only I, I only like to celebrate the big the big ones like making it another decade in life is what's important <laughs> i feel like i feel like 35 will be a good one to celebrate that's a good one yeah yeah I yeah. feel it's a good halfway mark, but yeah, definitely 40 is going to be big. Yeah, 40 is a big one, 50 is a big one, Yeah, 60 is a big one. You know, like those are the decades now are what, what I care about, so. Yeah, or like the half, yeah. the half decade. The halfway. Yeah. yeah. Every five years. Every five years. I don't need to do, I don't need to, yeah. Yeah. I don't give a shit. <laughs> so are also, you. Also, like I've done, I've like, who who wants to go to a bar and drink? like for five hours anymore i mean sometimes i do but like i don't know i only want to do that if it's like random like if it just happens i don't want to plan exactly because i like feeling good that's true so i don't call i don't want to be like feeling gross yep so are you like a master curler now uh yeah are you like the shirley temple of curling we, uh, we, I don't know. We're, oh, so the cool thing about curling is you could get really drunk and do it, and it's <laughs> super fun. Uh, we did have a couple injuries, but uh, oh, no. we, we, me and uh, our friend Eric uh, made up our team name. We're the Curl Friends. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I had a couple names on the table, but I think Curl Friends was the the favorite. Uh, Short and Curlies was another one. Oh, I thought that's that was fun. Funny. Um. And then I forget the other one, but yeah, I think curl friend was curl friends. Yeah, not my vanity the, plate in high school. Your va- your vanity mm-hmm. plate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was really fun. I had a blast. I'm I'm glad DJ like loves to organize stuff like that, so it was it was super cool. And we had a great time with our friends, so it was fun. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we and then the next day we uh on Sunday we just like posted up on the couch and binge stranger things how's the second season oh it's so good there's a fucking hot guy in it oh my oh. god oh my god he's I like the bad it. boy <gasps> Woo! oh my fucking god really so, is yeah, he in so, other things no 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 uh well he was the red power ranger oh in like the reboot yeah Uh-oh. uh his name is dacre uh montgomery i think oh what a name Oh my god! Uh, but in this show, his name is Billy, and he's like a mashup of like hot young Ra- Rob Lowe and like I don't know, fucking Patrick Swayze or something. I don't know. I don't even know. Oh. Fucking hot, <laughs> major lady boners <laughs> abound, <laughs> and maybe and other and dude boners too. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. He's fucking hot. Yeah. Um, he's like it's he has like a little bit of like a lost boys aesthetic, you know. 
You know the vampire movie? Yeah, Lost yeah, Boys? yeah. Uh, with the Corey Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland and... Right? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, Kiefer. Yeah. And the... Kiefer. And- <laughs> Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and the Corys. Yeah. I was just going to say, wait, is it Kiefer or Keither? <laughs> it's Kiefer. <laughs> I was like, ew, it's not Keither. <laughs> Yeah, I would say he ha- he's he's a mashup of Rob Lowe and Kiefer Sutherland. Oh wow, fucking hot! Oh, like, but from young. like the eighties. Young, yeah, 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 yeah. Young, young, young. Yeah, I mean Rob Lowe. Young, 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 young. Maybe also Lady a Boner. Little... Lady, yeah, Lady Boner. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's how a Lady Boner sounds. Young, 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 young. <laughs> it was pretty great. Uh, uh, I highly recommend if you haven't watched it. I mean, no spoilers here, but Billy, man. Oh, that's Billy. his character? Billy. Yeah. Oh. He's an asshole. That's He's such an scary. asshole name from like this the era that they're Oh. He oh, it is he's perfect. He's fucking perfect for this like role. He's just terrifying, psychopathic, but really fucking hot. They were just Oh my like, god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um Tell me I'm wrong. I don't okay. Know. Uh, well, now I have to watch it so I yeah. can either c- agree or disagree. Yeah. Or be like, mm, I don't know. I guess. No, it, you're. It's very sexual. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. There's no way around it. <laughs> DJ's just sitting there, like looking at me, and I'm like, I'm gonna rewind this part real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what like, are you doing under that blanket? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Gross. Um. All right. <laughs> Well, today's Halloween. Yeah. Um, Do you guys get trick-or-treaters? No, because we live in a building. It's a lot of old people, mostly. And it's mm-hmm. like, there's like a, a buzzer to get in, so. Oh, so it doesn't work, yeah. Yeah, we're not like outward facing. Do you? Yes, we get Aww. we get tons of trick-or-treaters. It is the highlight of my year. This is my favorite day. I fucking love it. I'm going to so dress fun. up like a modern Morticia Adams. <gasps> cute oh feeling very today. witchy very witchy um yeah i yeah oh i wore fangs all day at the at, at curling, curling too yeah so i that like that it. photo yeah it was good um yeah so yeah we get a ton of trick-or-treaters so after this i'm gonna carve a pumpkin i think <gasps> fun get get really ready get really put on some halloween tunes and get pumped <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna watch like a scary movie or something tonight but yes we don't i would love to do trick or i would love to have trick-or-treaters when we lived at our old house a couple blocks away we like faced the street which Aww. was so fun like i loved hand- handing out candy and we would just sit on the stoop so kids didn't have to like walk up to the right. door yeah. um but then like old like like teenagers women, no like oh like late teens early 20s but like sketchy people would come around and yeah and then it's like here you go and they're like not even in costumes and stuff and it was really and i felt like intimidated they're like taller than you you're like yeah i'm like hi uh um so that was weird and yeah i didn't like that i don't mind teenagers coming to get candy like, no but dress up you have to be dressed up well some people can't afford costumes and i don't give a fuck like i i don't know what like in my, in my neighborhood it's just like there's a mixture of like really young kids and then like there's teenagers who just like kind of half-ass it and i'm just like you know what they're they're just trying to have a little fun they're they're but you like you could like buy a 99 set wet and wild eyeliner and like at least draw whiskers they do. on your face they oh, do that's, they do. that's still a costume to me yeah like you don't yeah. have to be super dressed up but put in a little bit of effort so i know yeah. that like like the the people that came to our house one time no, they were like they were just in clothes walking around with like a backpack oh. and they're like oh, trick or treat and i was like oh, oh here you go because i don't want yeah. you to kill me in my home <laughs> I don't want to anger a possible serial killer. Yeah. Ugh. I feel like you guys are going to torture cats later. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh, well, that'll well, be fun. I love Halloween. I'm really excited. So we're going to get real spooky. Yeah. Okay. Real creepy. So um, let's go into my bathroom. Okay. 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 Aaron's going to f- come with me on FaceTime into my bathroom, and we're going to turn off lights, and I have a candle. Okay. Um, 
it's a scented candle because it smells like doo-doo in here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just take a shit? Well, Pete hasn't been home for like five hours, so you do the math. Well, <laughs> maybe you guys get to get a little, maybe it was him and you're, it's just not <laughs> airing out very well. Oh, maybe it's a ghost shit. A ghost <laughs> shit. Oh I'm like I can't do the math. I I'm not there. <laughs> I don't know what your bowel movement uh, <laughs> schedule is. <laughs> this bathroom's haunted. <laughs> I know there's a I know there's a paranormal presence in here because it smells like someone farted, <laughs> and it wasn't me. You got a Ooh. phantom shitter. <laughs> Well, ghosts never come and do normal things. No. What They're the always fuck? doing creepy fucked up things. It's like, how come you never walk in on a ghost flossing or something? I mean, if I was a ghost, I would I would have so much fun. Like, I don't know. I'd, I'd turn the TV on to like Real Housewives <laughs> at three in the morning. <laughs> Leave a bottle of like rosé out that wasn't there before. I don't know. <laughs> be fun about it also yeah. like i've seen this meme of like people being like make sure you wear your cutest outfit in case you die that day because you don't want to come back wearing some like raggedy shit <laughs> like make sure you look cute every day just in case you're you become a ghost later but even if you become a ghost you you only ever come back in like period pieces yeah <laughs> like you you're only ever in like an outfit from like a like a wench or like a yeah. peasant woman I mean this isn't run fair like come on <laughs> yeah. what the fuck do you like when you die it's like there's a costume closet they're like all right you're a ghost now so pick 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 this out it's like all like gross like you're like I I just can I just wear my sweatshirt and leggings or <laughs> Or not. Nah. All the good ones are taken. I don't want to yeah. be the Hamburglar. Yeah. <laughs> there's like mismatched, like, like there's like leg warmers and like. <laughs> or like the 80s costume, which is basically just like the plastic mask. And then remember it was like a colored garbage bag. Yeah. A California <laughs> raisin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> um, but okay, yeah, let's, let's well, like do this thing. Okay, all right, we're in your bathroom. Yeah, and you lit your scented candle because it smells like stank in your yeah, bathroom. Yeah, it's, it's, it's covering up the doo doo smell. Yeah, the ghost okay. shit. How? What does it look like in here? It's dark. It's dark. All I see is a mirror and and a flicker of a candle. Yeah, and of course the glow from the computer. Yeah. It's kind of it's the creepy. From, it makes yeah. it creepy though because it's like all I could see is your face. Yeah, it's all lit up and creepy. Yeah. Okay. All right, so are we going to summon Bloody Mary? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Okay, we have to say it 3 times while I look in the mirror. Okay. Oh my god, I hope I don't I don't hope I don't die. You're not. Okay. It's not real. But all right, go for it. Okay, ready? Yes. Oh, am I just doing it, or are you gonna say it too? Oh, let's all let's say it together. Okay. Okay. Ready? Bloody, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, Did man. somebody call me? <laughs> Oh, fuck, it's Bloody Mary. <laughs> Did you want to ask me any questions? Any questions? Like David has pumpkins. <laughs> um, Bloody I've Mary. Been, I've been banished to this mirror for so long. That sounds pretty shitty. Like, why? I mean, why are you there? What happened? Great question. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> you must get tired of people constantly calling you. It sucks. Yes, I, can, I can't do anything without being interrupted. I'm the one that took a doo-doo in here. <laughs> Was there blood in your stool? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> There's blood in everything I touch. 
<laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm real sorry that people are always bugging you. Well, yes. Well, they think I'm scary looking. <laughs> I mean, you are scary looking. You look like shit. <laughs> Mm, that's really rude of you, and I feel like it's a little offensive coming from another woman. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm We're sorry, supposed you're to right. lift each other up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel like an asshole. Oh, well, you should. I do. Is sorry, that but... it? Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to my BM. Oh! <laughs> Bloody Mary bowel movement, get it? You're being. <laughs> oh my god, she's funny. <laughs> it was lovely to meet you. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, she was weird. Yeah, she. Yeah, she was like kind of like. I felt bad. She's yeah. Very forlorn. <laughs> She's had blood on her. Let's uh, let's summon her again and see if she's different this time. Okay. Ready? Ready? Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why? What the fuck do you want, bitch? <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? No! Is it something you want to talk about? Sometimes I feel like someone just needs to be asked if they're okay, and it opens up a dialogue. I mean, what? I aren't you? Aren't you scared? Well, I'm just like scared for your safety. You seem uh, manic. It's just that, like, all these teenagers keep summoning me all the fucking time. I'm just trying to live my life in this mirror. It sucks. Oh, real? I didn't even. Do you have like a mirror family and like mirror things that you do? Yeah, there's like I got a fucking pot roast in the oven right now. I'm fucking trying to drink some cider over here. It's Halloween. I'm just trying to chill. It's fall. I uh, got my pumpkin spice latte from Mirror Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I didn't yeah. even know. And so I always just like scream at people in the mirror because I'm pissed. Like, oh. just get out of my goddamn face. I'm so... It's, I'm so it's my sorry. curse. It's oh, my curse. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just, like, got my period a lot, like, heavier than normal back in the day, and people are like, oh, my God, she's a fucking witch. And I was like, dude, I'm just trying to live my life. I didn't have tampons back then. It was just, like, you literally just bleed everywhere, so... Oh, my God. So you were just Everybody... regular old Mary before... Yeah. You got all those heavy periods. Yeah. It's like, I just needed a little bit of like a super like tampon and that's all that it, now I'm fine I'm fine I, I have what I need now because you know have you tried the, the diva cup yeah Lady that's Mary? what I'm saying I got oh, what I nice. got I got it I got it I'm good oh all right Mi- the mirror but, world diva cup yeah mirror 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 diva yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah so um, yeah sucks but mm-hmm. uh it's just like annoying it's just annoying more than yeah. anything so Oh. It's my life, but uh, thanks for asking. That's so sweet. Uh, I'll spread know. the word. I'll tell as many people as I can not to bother you. It's just like these teenagers. Like, I think the best way to probably get through to them is just like go on Tumblr, like do a post about it. <laughs> I guess I don't know. That's that's what the the kids are into these days, right? Or am I? No, I, I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Wow. Thanks for checking in. That's so sweet of you. Oh my. Uh, <laughs> Anytime. Wow. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll let you get back to your pot roast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, it's a new recipe from Ina Garten. I hope it's solid. I mean, mirror Ina Garten, I guess. <laughs> uh, she's, she's still pretty chill over here. So. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. Ah, thank you so much. I really appreciate this talk. You were such a good friend. You know, if you ever want to summon me again, I would appreciate it and love it. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, girl. Well, <laughs> Have a great day. Oh, you too? Just marry. Just marry. You don't have to, I mean, if you want, but like it's more of a formality than anything. So, yeah. (laughs) Have a good day. All right. Bye. Bye. See ya. (laughs) 
Wow, she was so nice. Like, she's pretty chill, actually. At, at first, I was like, oh, she's going to be really scary. But then I was just like, no, I think she's misunderstood. Yeah, totally. I think so, too. Wow. I mean, it's weird that her voice sounded, like, exactly like me. So uh, weird. <laughs> a, it was close. It wasn't exact. It was, like, a True. little, a little, there was, like, a little affect that was different. More vocal fry, probably. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's... Probably because the mirror distorts it. Yeah. So. Oh, my yeah. God. Well, today we're talking about Bloody Mary. <laughs> you know what we're drinking, guys? Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Marys. Sorry. <laughs> M- mine's extra bloody. And by uh, bloody, I, put- I mean gross because it's tomatoey. Mm, I put some. Um, mine's like the Trader Joe's mix. And Ooh. I put some uh, Korean spices in it. Oh, that and- sounds nice. Yeah, and some jalapeno fucking olives, dude. Ooh, I just put regular pimento olives, but they're good. I don't fuck around with my Bloody Mary. I get it fully loaded. Oh, yeah. Like Mm -hmm. a baked potato. (laughs) Um, Did you ever do this as a kid? Yeah, totally. Oh, my God. Me too. Like, okay. Uh... I think we... I said this in another episode, but we might have cut it out, but, like, when I was a, a kid and, like, probably, like, eight years old through like my teenage years I, I had a Ouija board I did all the like scary games at my birthday because I'm I'm a Halloween kid basically yeah, yeah. I'm telling you season of the Scorpio <laughs> uh and and I was always creepy but like I don't know none of this stuff ever affected me I know this I I'm sure people have had scary experiences with Ouija boards and stuff but for me uh nothing nothing weird ever happened however a lot of parents were not happy with my parents because I was like oh let's play with the Ouija board oh my god and they're like that girl is Satan (laughs) yeah we are a Christian family we are not letting our girl hang out with your girl anymore Mr. (laughs) Mrs. B yeah that's weird yeah yeah it's weird I don't – well, I feel like if anything ever happened, like if you have any experiences with those things, it's usually because you let yourself, like, be scared into something. Yeah. But Uh, I'm not a believer of any of that stuff, so. I'm not either. Uh, I I don't discount anybody else's experience, uh, but I I think this goes back to our episode about sleep paralysis is that if your brain is – if you are, if you believe in something, there very well could be things that happen to you that, you know, manifest in certain ways. So I also believe in energy, like pretty, like uh, there's definitely things that are unexplainable, but like this is not one of them. <laughs> yeah, I think, well, there is an explanation to what people see, but it's very, yeah. I mean, it can be explained by science. I yeah. And I believe people who see they've said who say that they've seen something crazy or whatever because totally. because it's been proven through science. But what that actually is is your brain doing something weird. Yeah. And not like a spirit trying to reach you from the other side or a woman named Bloody Mary. Yeah. I also believe like feelings of dread and, you know, presence, like feeling a presence uh, could be explained by different types of energy and, and vibrations too. So do I think that it's a – Spirit from that is cursed and haunted, haunting people. I do not know. No. But, um, but I am, <clears throat> to this day, I still get really scared of mirrors at nighttime in the dark mm. because there was an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark on Nickelodeon oh. with like a, a mirror and there was like an, uh, the, she, like, there was a mirror on the back of a door against a wall or something and someone saw in the mirror, like, help me written on the wallpaper Ooh. or something but when they turned around it wasn't behind them it was like this alternate mirror universe k- kind of like where bloody mary lives yeah. it was it freaked me out so bad like that night i watched it i like walked in front of a mirror going to the bathroom or something in the middle of the night and it would freak the shit out of me and now even at night i don't like to look in the mirror like if i go to the bathroom i leave all the lights off so there's like i can't see anything and mm-hmm. i just like feel my way to the toilet and i like oh, dude it's weird. Um, I, I mean, 
I think a mirror is a reasonable thing to be kind of afraid of. Like, uh, there's like a lot of history of creepiness associated with it. Um, yeah, like yeah, psych- but psychological creepiness, not like not actual creepiness. Oh uh, yeah, <clears throat> and mythological creepiness. But we can get mm-hmm. into that later. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, so <laughs> P- kids have been doing this for ages. Like it's it's one of those classic uh, urban legends that who knows exactly when it started. Mm-hmm. Um, it the origins of it are interesting to say the least but we'll get into that in a second it um, crosses like cultural lines definitely like, there's and there's different variations of it uh mm-hmm. in in different cultures too yeah um and it could be riffed on endlessly and there's and there's so many uh different ways to interpret it or like so, so many backstories that have gotten made up about it that it's uh it's interesting. Like I remember in elementary school, uh, there is like a sunken like spot in the grass that we ca- we call a grave. I told you I've always been creepy. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then there is it was like a bigger sunken spot and then a smaller sunken spot. And we're like, oh, that's Bloody Mary and, and Bloody Mary's grave and her little baby little boy Blue's grave. Oh. That's like part of one of the legends. Uh, and it's, it's all an allegory for like, I I think making women feel shame about having like miscarriages and shit. It's really fucked up. Oh, so yeah, there's like, know that. Yeah. Well, we'll get to like some of the real people that it's based on. Um, or rumored to be based on because there's so many different ones. We can't. Yeah. Like we won't, we don't know how, where it really comes from, but it's a really an amalgamation of a lot of different women through, through time yeah um yeah a lot of folklore and uh it's really it's a lot of a lot of bullshit though to (laughs) to freak out freak out kids and and make women feel weird about getting their period or (laughs) or being ugly or yeah not getting husbands or whatever (laughs) so weird yeah it's really just a way to like bully kids at sleepovers Oh, totally. <laughs> it's like and you, just, you. It's like let's pick like the least popular girl or boy here, and tell them they have to go into the bathroom and summon Bloody Mary with a candle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then everyone totally. just like laughs at them. Yep. When they get upset. Yeah. Um, which is awful. Yeah. So the way that I mean that I learned growing up to do it was you go in the bathroom with all the mm-hmm. lights off. You have a candle, like you light a candle in there. And then you say Bloody Mary three times uh, or 10 times or 13 times. There's lots of variations because, again, it's all like urban legends get watered down and changed and yeah. added on to over time. So yeah. lots of lots of little variations. Um, mm-hmm. And some people spin around. Yeah. Uh, so like between one and 100 times or whatever. I've never heard that one. Oh, but that people I know- spin around? Yeah, I but oh. I know that that's a, I yeah that makes maybe I have I don't know, um, and then this bitch will appear in the mirror, like she'll just yeah. like appear and it's supposed to be super scary and she's like covered in blood usually, uh she'll scream in your face or she'll suck your soul, or scratch <laughs> your face, scratch your face or and, she'll kill or, you dead right there or oh, yeah and the mirror might bleed like there's. There's all kind of, that's like the fear, the fear that she's going to pop out of the mirror and you're going to die or you're going to confront, be confronted by this terrifying woman in the mirror. That's what I so. always heard. It sounds scary that you would see like a face, but I, yeah. but I never heard that. I always heard like she'd show up, like she, like she'd come through the mirror into your world or oh. whatever, mm-hmm. which is way more scary. Just seeing someone's face, I guess that's interesting, but uh, I don't know. But but I guess some other things that kids talked about happening, because, like, yeah, like, you might see her face or whatever. You you already mentioned she'd, like, scream in your face or scratch your face or whatever. Um, some people would say that she would rip out uh, your eyes with her claws. Like, she had, Whoa. like, Bloody yeah. Mary had claw hands. Ooh. And then... Um, 
uh, like in the next few days or whatever, you'd start to see scratches on your body. Huh. Like they would just like start appearing. Um, or you'd get sucked into the mirror with her for eternity or you just die right there. Like she'd just kill you right there. Crazy. So I feel like I feel like you heard a, a couple different things could happen when you yeah. were little. And then it's like, oh, what's it going to be? And then it was never anything. <laughs> yeah. And then nothing ever happened. <laughs> And you just stand there and then somebody grab you if you're in there with somebody else and it'd, yeah. be, it'd be scary. And you'd run out screaming. Oh, that's what would happen is yeah. everybody would freak out and then you'd run out screaming. Because someone, yeah, inevitably like blows out the candle or yeah. like goes like boo or whatever. And you're like, yeah. oh, and then everyone's like, ah, and you run out and then. Yeah. yeah and then you it. get scratches probably from trampling each other trying to get out of the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like uh, if you live with cats or something. You just yeah. always have scratches. So. Yeah. Yeah. There's not, I don't know. There's like not much to it. I, I, we've already talked a lot more <laughs> on what this, what the like ritual is. I feel like there's not a lot to it. Yeah. It's, it's just all made up. Uh, Like I, I don't know when, I, I feel like it probably began like maybe back in like the fifties or sixties is when it became like a scary thing to do. Mm. Um, But I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, so this, the legend is based on, uh, a couple different people and doing research for it. There is some main people that it, it centered around, but, um, Mm -hmm. only one of them is 1000% real. Um, and that's Mary Tudor. As a person. As a person. Yeah, like a real Uh, person that existed. That exists in the historical record. So Mary Tudor was the daughter of... Henry VIII and Catherine of Aragon. Mm -hmm. Uh, She was so that was Henry VIII's first wife. Um, She was put aside for uh, Anne Boleyn. Mm. Henry VIII married Anne Boleyn, divorced Catherine of Aragon, and then the Catholic reign of, of her kind of era was over. And then Anne Boleyn instituted Protestantism. Hmm. Uh, in England, she that was that was her jam. So when Henry VIII died, though, because he's he's the one that killed all his wives. He had right. a bunch Beheaded of wives them, that he killed. Right? Well, just er- Anne, Anne Boleyn, Catherine Parr, I think a couple, and then um a couple other maybe. Uh, I can't remember. Maybe maybe not Catherine Parr. I can't remember. Uh, I used to like do. I used to love Tudor uh, era history yeah. but a lot of it's fallen out of my brain but when he died uh their daughter Catherine and Henry's daughter Mary took over the throne and she was like the first woman to really reign uh on her own without yeah. a husband she was the heir, the the first heir to the throne she was reinstated the catholic church was like stoked about it because she she really followed her mother's uh form of Catholicism very fervent and very uh angry that all this other bullshit had taken over um Mm. because of her her father kind of getting led around and he really all that he cared about was being able to get a divorce and the Catholic Church wouldn't let him so he was like I'm gonna go with this new religion yeah uh because my new hot wife wants to fuck me and (laughs) I don't like my old stodgy wife who is supposed to marry his brother, but then his brother died. So he became king. So Um. anyway, uh, so she she really was trying to cleanse the land of like of these heretics, basically. And so she went on a rampage and just started beheading people. And she had a really bad and bad role model in her father, who was very, very violent, uh, hated like any time he somebody went against him, he would just kill them. Basically, Henry the Henry the Eighth sounds like a fuck boy. Such a fuck boy. Ugh, <laughs> you sucked. Um, <laughs> he's a he, suck boy. He's a suck boy. He like yeah. He just was. He was. It was like absolute power, and she just learned that. You know, she learned these, the the learned behavior of of just. Being a psychopath was <laughs> the Ooh. the way was the way to go. Um, so, and also like she was angry. Probably she was like treated like shit. Like she was 
still taken care of because she was the daughter of the king, but her mother was set aside like a piece of garbage and like basically just, you know, treated like shit. And like, I, I don't know. It, I'm applying like today's sensibilities to the times of those <laughs> days, but like yeah. I don't know, it's all it, it it's pretty common sense to think like this girl would have been raised in a a pretty weird environment and been um I don't know, jerked around a lot. So yeah. she also like was very dowdy and by the time she came to the throne, she was like in her 40s or like late 30s and uh she married uh I think Prince Philip of Spain. He did not love her. She fucking loved him, though. She was, like, obsessed with him. Oh. Like, she was, like, he was way younger than her. He was, like, kind of hot, and she was not. She was just, like, older woman, not healthy. Um, (laughs) And (laughs) she, she just, I don't know. She just was not happy. She was very miserable, and she had a bunch of false pregnancies where she like her stomach would grow she'd like you know think she was pregnant and then she would never give birth Mm. so this is like a rare condition i forget the the name of it but uh it's like a thing that could happen so she go through all the symptoms of pregnancy and you just don't have a baby so he he like her husband like just basically left her like set her aside kind of or just like went traveled a bunch so he didn't didn't have to deal with her yeah Yeah. and then she's just sitting there like pregnant pregnant for a year and then she never gave birth and everybody was just like oh let's not talk about it anymore because it'd be like she this happened like several (laughs) times where she'd like everybody be all excited and then like her everybody see her stomach grow and then nothing would happen It, it was fucked it was really sad so we should do an episode on whatever that disorder is that sounds crazy i know it's pretty crazy. And there's probably medicine these days to like to like keep yeah, that from because it's like you know if you find that you have that a sonogram can be like whoa there's no baby in there but you're like showing the symptoms and then they could probably yeah. give you like a hormone to get rid of the symptoms or whatever. Yeah, a lot of people like study this and think it might have been like an ectopic pregnancy or like this really rare condition. Um, so she. She ends up going on, like, a bloody rampage and killing all these Protestants because she's, like, this Catholic woman. And she's like, let's wipe them out. Let's get this shit back on track. And then she had her half-sister, Elizabeth, who became Mm -hmm. queen after her, uh, who was, like, this young, hot, like, cool, smart chick who she was, like, super jealous of and, like, knew that she was next in line to come get her and but she was not catholic so she like put her out in the country like kept her captive basically i i could talk about it forever but anyway so (laughs) she basically died childless and alone um a lot of people think she had maybe like uterine or ovarian cancer uh is, is what she ended up dying of because i think this uh this false pregnancy thing is a symptom of that maybe sometimes like some of the symptoms she had because it's not only mm. it's not only like you have these physical things happening to you you have like a psychosomatic reaction to like you get like morning sickness and stuff like that so very crazy story so she is the one that is most often associated with the legend of bloody mary because her name was mary and she was just like lopping heads off and being and like having these like they weren't really miscarriages because she wasn't really ever pregnant i guess or and if she was it, it never I don't know. Nothing ever happened. So, yeah. So a lot of I don't know. I feel really bad for her. I think she was a monster, but she also had a lot of stuff working against her, which was really sad. You can see where like the the themes come from with Bloody Mary. Like, yeah, because she's killing all these people and she would show up and like kill you or whatever like that. You could see where that you could connect to that. Yeah, but. you could connect to that. And, like, some of the, the stories of, like, the legend, like, the um, a lot of people say, like, Bloody Mary comes to steal your baby or, like, is going to – is wailing in the mirror or whatever. This, she was often very sad, was, like, secluded in her room and just, you know, in pain a lot, I think, too. So. Yeah. It's really sad. That is sad. 
Yeah. So I feel bad for her, uh, despite all of the horribleness that she inflicted on people. Um, but she was often humiliated. Uh, people just talked about her and her inability to conceive. I mean, because what is she there for? You know, if she can't have an heir. Uh, yeah. So eh, pretty, pretty fucked up. Yeah, that's um, fucked up. So she's she's the one that it's it, this a lot of the story is based on. But then there's also a couple other women that um, are considered to be the origin of the story. Uh, there's another woman named, named Mary Whale. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is just like all folklore. This I don't know if this person was real or not, but uh, she was the daughter of a evil asshole, basically, who <laughs> who uh, beat her and abused her, neglected her. Um, and he ended up eventually like murdering her by stabbing her a bunch. And that's she rude. came back. She came back and haunted him, obviously. So, um, that's weird because like, why would she come back and haunt everyone? Right. Like you I have beef with this one dude. All right. When yeah. that's done, you're done. Like I would be fine with like, I think hauntings should happen to people who are totally shitty. <laughs> like. Fucking abusive assholes, people who steal money from, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. Like, like any Like white collar crimes. White collar crimes. Like Bernie yeah. Madoff. Yeah. Ber yeah, exactly. Well, he's in jail. I mean, he's serving. He's got consequences. But I, I wish he was, like, in jail getting haunted, too. <laughs> <laughs> he, things probably do haunt him. Yeah, I'm sure. I hope so. Um, in the form of a guy named Slim. Yeah. <laughs> Who haunts him every night after dinner yeah. Yeah. in the laundry room <laughs> of the prison? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He's actually doing great in prison. <laughs> he's got the he has like a hot chocolate uh, empire in at the commissary. Wait for, for real? real? Oh for my. real? Wow! Yeah, this motherfucker is living a good life in prison. I guess you. I guess you. You, you would still have your talents. Like yeah, he he that, charmed a bunch of people into giving like them giving him his money. So people give he gives people like financial advice in prison. Like the people yeah. that are in there. I mean, you know, they they need to know how to manage their money too. So as long as everything's clean and legit now, I'm cool mm -hmm. with that. He's obviously talented. Yeah, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. So he has a knack. He has a knack. Um, so anyway, back to the Marys. Yeah. Uh, so Mary Whale is another, another, that's another person. And she's like, she'd be whaling. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then there's another woman, Mary Worthing or Worthington, who the story might be based on. Mm. Uh, so she, uh, apparently was a very beautiful, but very vain woman, uh, who, that's where the mirror comes in. Yeah, and that's where the mirror comes in. Yeah. So she had a terrible accident that left her disfigured, and she couldn't bear to live without her former beauty, so she killed herself. Uh, yeah. And it it has – it. that's why she's trapped in the mirror, because of her vanity. So it's kind of like a – it's like a fable, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a – yeah, fable. Yeah. Um. And then there's Mary Worth, who I I think this is the more interesting folklore story. She's a witch who's burned at the stake for stealing babies or some shit. Um, yeah. Oh, I read that she that she was like kidnapping um, runaway slaves and torturing them. See, this goes back to the Mary Whale st story. Her. Her father was the one that was kidnapping the runaway slaves. Oh, so, so you all, can see where it breaks off and like becomes different versions of the story. Exactly. And that's mm -hmm. why I don't know that any of these women are real. There might have been a real Mary Whale, real Mary Worth, but like I it, it's just like the the legend gets inflated. Uh, yeah. Like stuff gets added onto it and then it gets like crisscrossed with other stories. Yeah. So um, so yeah, Mary Worth though she was she was supposedly a witch. So well, and it gets even more generic than that because I saw one where it was like just a woman named Mary who's like a local area woman. 
Yeah. Who, who gets into a car accident and her face gets mangled. Yeah, it's like it's if, like it's like if Florida man became like a like a scary <laughs> like <laughs> like like a like a scary presence that murdered people in their like big rigs or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. In their big, on the ten, which yeah, goes, on the ten, which goes from Florida to San Bernardino. <laughs> It does seem like Bloody Mary's like a meme kind of. She'd be a It meme. is. She'd be a meme today. Well, a meme is that's what a meme is. Like we yeah. ha- we use this word meme. It's really just like a way of explaining a a, a very like an origin uh, specific. Story. It's very it's a very specific reference. That's what yeah. it is. That's literally what meme means. Oh. Um so yeah, she is a meme. Mary's yeah. a meme. <laughs> bloody the Bloody Mary meme. Yeah, um, yeah, and then that's kind of all the, like, Marys that are kind of wrapped up into one that create this, like, big legend that yeah. we know, that we know today. Um, and there's also some alternatives to the story, like, uh, in, <laughs> in Alternative Bloody Mary, she, like, shops at Hot Topic. Yeah, Alt, <laughs> alt Mary. <laughs> Whoa, Alt Mary, fine for lamp. <laughs> <laughs> she has like tattoos and like a septum piercing <laughs> <laughs> she has like bangs like mm. he- like thick bangs over like, one eye yeah a lot like a heavy fringe yeah um alt mary alt mary um so there's in japan there's a hanak hanako hanako san hanako san um, who's the spirit of a World War II era girl who haunts school bathrooms? Like very specific, like Moaning like, Myrtle. Like Moaning Myrtle, exactly. And according to the legend, if one goes up to the third stall of a girl's restroom on the third floor of a school and knocks three times and asks, "Are you there, Hanako-san?" she will answer, "I'm here." And if you choose the stall, there will be a small girl <laughs> with bobbed hair and red skirt waiting for you. Cr- and I guess she, she kill kills you? you. I guess oh I. My God. I yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought this was funny, but when I saw the translation, it said the dir- the exact translation of this into English of Hanako-san is, this doesn't make sense, Hanako of the toilet. Because san doesn't mean toilet, so. No, no. Maybe I saw a longer name. Yeah, uh, well, Hanako is like a very common girl's name in Japan, oh. especially around this time. I think there's like a there's like a longer version of Hanako san and that's like Hanako I see. of the toilet. Oh, I see. <laughs> I was or like, it's that's like rude. Or it's like it's like Google like complete completing for you. Did you mean <laughs> Hanako of the toilet? <laughs> Cuz that's like what people are probably like googling all the that's time. That's its own thing. <laughs> <laughs> like David has pumpkin. Yeah. D- I'm David Pumpkin. <laughs> And uh, the skeletons are our own thing <laughs> or part of it <laughs> are part of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so good. It's so funny. Yeah. Uh, who knows? Yeah. And then there's Candyman, which the that's worst the... movie ever. I love that movie. Mm. It's pretty bad, though. I hated it. Um, If you guys have seen Candyman, it's like basically the same thing. You just say Candyman three times and uh. It was, it's like a dude who comes and he's like. With a hook? Yeah, and he has bees. Oh, yeah, because it's about, um, uh, it's uh, the like plot of the movie. I don't know if yeah. this is just the plot the, of the movie or like the, um, the backstory to the. I literally think that the movie made this up. Like, oh, okay. I don't think that it's like a real thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't it's think not so like, either. It's not like actual folklore. But it's like a slave who fell in love with like. A, a white woman or something and then yeah she got pregnant so they kill they like cut off his hand and then like covered him in honey and mm-hmm. then sicked a whole bunch of bees on him yeah and then yeah yeah that's the plot of the movie so and that's how do you get candy man from that i don't understand i don't either um because hollywood man yeah but yeah, uh, and then uh, you would think like a Goose's Gloop would come back as Candyman or something <laughs> after he dies in that after he dies in that chocolate river. 
Oh, that's perfect. That's right? a good that And shit. he eats you. Yeah. Like he, he or like like yeah. his body gets sucked up the tube. <gasps> Oh and my, then it goes oh, into the drink. It goes into the water supply. Oh, my God. And or he comes near, up through the plumbing. Yeah. Yeah. Like oh, it kind of. Yeah. Yo. We should make a movie. I know. Oh, we we will. Like Augustus Gloop and <laughs> Gloopy. Glo- <laughs> Spooky Gloopy. <laughs> Sploopy. <don't>, Sploopy. <laughs> Oh my god! What, what could you imagine being in that pitch meeting and you're just like, and they're like, "All right, thanks for coming in today. So we're gonna give you two minutes to give your pitch." And you're like, "A goosedus gloop haunts yeah. children through the plumbing." I eats mean, your face. okay, it's not crazy. They did. They made a movie out of the um, uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Oh, book. What's that? Like somebody just like added in zombies to Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> And then they made a movie out of it. To make it so, relevant? No, but what movie is that? Is it like a big hit? It's Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. That's what it's called? Yeah. Somebody oh. literally took Pride and Prejudice. Oh. And like inserted zombies into the storyline. Well, because you know how like, okay, that's dumb. And I feel like that person's that's not what I'm, super creative. Listen, oh, that's what I'm saying. We I know. can do. Donald Trump is president. Oh, movies like this are made. We can do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was watching like... I was watching TV the other day and it was something like it was like not Cowboys and Aliens, but something like that. It was like Cowboys and Zombies or something, some bad movie on like a B yeah. channel. Yeah. And I was like, someone wrote this. Like, yeah. I know I can write something better than this. And Pete was like, not only did someone write this, they made it. Someone got paid. Somebody gave them money this. for it. I know. I was like, done. I can do this. And then but- somebody, somebody's agent said you should do this yeah and they did it i know <laughs> and they did it oh my god yeah. it's crazy but so first- tell me again how candy man's a bad movie <laughs> <laughs> it could still be bad and people that shit it. is good all it's, right it's it's mediocre you're entitled to your opinion it's wrong okay. but uh but you're yeah, entitled okay. <laughs> no. cool. um I, I, but, I accept it <laughs> but what i was gonna say about this pride and prejudice with zombies like you know how like people are more clever than that like like 10 things i hate about you is really like the taming, the of, the taming of the shrew yeah but clueless is clueless is um emma or yeah uh, i don't know which one it is it's it's fucking it's all all movies are fucking Shakespeare or um, what you call it? Um, you know, you know what I'm talking about Pride and Prejudice. No, what? <laughs> oh, Bra- is that the Bronte sisters? No, 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 no. Jane uh, Austen. Jane Austen. Yeah, all all movies are either Pia- Shakespeare Pia- or Jane Austen. Austen. Yeah, Jane Austen. Yeah. So anyway, uh. Where are we at? Oh, and then we have La Llorona, uh, who is the ghost of a woman who lost her children and now cries while looking for them in the river and often causes misfortune to those who are who are near her or hear her. And that's what? like a Mexican folklore. But that uh, doesn't have to do with Amir. Uh, I think she's like kind of tangentially related to Bloody oh. Mary so, somehow. Mm, I so. don't know. Yeah, maybe she come. Maybe she, you. Maybe she's like the traveling one, like in a compact mirror. Like you, yeah. <laughs> like you have to be out in the world using a compact mirror. I think it's like if you look into the reflection of a river or some shit oh, like that. Oh, that that's know. deep. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, those are some variations of the Bloody Mary uh, folklore. Um, so it's just interesting that. This is like very widespread and it's been such a thing for so long in American folklore. I don't know if it's the same in like um, UK or if there's any variations of that there. I would think it would be more since it's more based on like uh, Mary Tudor. Mary Tudor. And I feel like I feel like these names are very Anglo-Saxon like Mary Worth, Mary Worthington. Yeah, totally. Um, but it's very I feel weird. like it's a very distinctly American folklore kind of thing. 
I don't know, maybe Lore, the podcast, already has an episode about this and we can oh, find out more. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, shit. I should have just listened to that. I know. I know. <laughs> I've listened to, like, every episode and I haven't oh, okay. heard anything. Um, yeah, but, like, it, it's just interesting, though, the, the psychology of this whole thing. Like, why yeah. why children still do this? Um, like, flirting with, with disaster and danger and tragedy. Uh, we've said it before in our teenage wasteland uh episode where people who are younger don't have developed brains and Mm -hmm. and so kids between the ages of nine and 12 are labeled the robinson age by psychologists uh, which is the period when children need to satisfy their craving for excitement by participating in ritual games and playing in the dark so this is an actual thing that makes sense if you think about what like uh, the kinds of trouble quote unquote that you got into during that time of your life that's when you're going to the most sleepovers because you're like a little bit mm-hmm. independent but you're still kind of young and and I feel like you want to follow suit with what everybody else is doing but also yeah. you're not going to get into real trouble you can't drive yet you can't be alone out in the woods or whatever so it's yeah. like you make up these little games to play these little rituals yeah yeah I mean, I was the I was if if these are the rituals, I was the fucking priestess of them <laughs> at my sleepovers. I was like, do this, do that. Like we're doing this. We're watching Night of the mm. Living Dead, you know, like I yeah. was so fucking creepy. Uh, yeah. So kids are just constantly looking for a safe way to extract pleasure and release anxiety and fears. Yeah. Um, or at, maybe even play into them. Yeah. Um, and there's also like the old timey ritual of uh the divining ritual or divining i don't know is it divining or divining uh the ritual of like of yeah that uh yeah i think that's it yeah um rich so it's a ritual that involves unmarried girls and future husbands where you know in uh gangs of new york no, Have I haven't you seen, seen that, that. movie. Mm-mm. Oh, dude, I couldn't that's right. stand Cameron Diaz's hair bothers me in that movie, so I never watched it. Uh, I I watched it again recently, and it was like, not that did it bad. hold up? Oh, it was fine. It's like I didn't realize that Scorsese was so goofy sometimes. Like mm. it's like kind of there's some goofy moments, but fucking oh, really? What? He, uh, what, uh, the Departed, like. Mark Wahlberg's character is so funny in that movie. Oh, he's so good in it. He's, he's so, so good. good. But like the the writing's funny. Like the there's yeah. really funny like light moments. I, I I think I mean like um there is like there's some cheesiness to it. That, oh, I see. Uh, that I it's not yeah it's I, and I think it's just uh, it, that that movie is like 15 years old now. I think. Anyhow, there's a scene in it where uh she. Cameron Diaz is like ha- holds a mirror up and like there's dudes in a queue going behind her and she like holds up a mirror and whoever's face appears she can either choose and she's like it's like fucking tender like oh they God. this was this was literal tender like and this movie was so far ahead of tender but it was like she's like on to the next one on to yeah the, the guys she's like, just swiping like go by in real yeah, life yeah literally like there is like a guy who's like a, a judge like kind of standing there in front of her and she has the mirror and she'd be like she'd shake her head and the guy would be like get out of here and then the next guy would come and get his face in the mirror and Leo, of course Leo, Leo DiCaprio is like the one that she's like yes bitch <laughs> and we are all Cameron Diaz in this situation <laughs> <laughs> so she swiped I don't know what way you go when you have a, a person you want to fuck so i'm i never i don't know a i think it's swipe right, right? yeah swipe right I yeah so. <laughs> well i don't know we're both <laughs> like wifeyed up for so long yeah we haven't dated in many years no <laughs> um so yeah and so that's a so this is an old-timey thing where women are looking for husbands and uh the mirror is the thing that you use and this is also goes back really far into like the oracles of like ancient Greece where you you're using mirrors or or uh, you're using yeah mirrors a, to a reflective see the future. surface a yeah, reflective yeah. surface yeah to see the future yeah because that's what I read that too is that like uh, women would look in the mirror and like you'd see the face of your husband mm-hmm. or whatever yeah. or, or supposed to marry. 
or you'd see Satan or death. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, but the concept of mirrors as portals between this world and the realm of spirits shows up uh, in other beliefs. And yeah. th- it's usually surrounding funerals. Like in Judaism, you cover up the mirrors. That's um, fascinating to me. Yeah. When you sit Shiva, you like close your – or you uh, – or the person whose home it was, you cover up all the mirrors. Um, but that's more of a thing of uh, – for the people who are in mourning to – forsake kind of your own personal vanity uh it, it's not oh i thought it was so you don't see them in the mirror Mm-mm. like oh, and i was like that's freaky no it's like you're you're not focusing on yourself you're focusing on the on the person who just passed away yeah that makes um, sense there's probably other interpretations of it but uh typically that's the way it's taken but yeah. there are there in a lot of other religions it's uh it's a common practice to, especially like in the olden times, to cover up mirrors uh, in a house where death has occurred until the body has been taken out for burial. We don't keep bodies in our house anymore, though. No. Oh, some people might, but uh, you before funeral homes were a thing, basically. Yeah, yeah. They would wash and dress and lay out the body for people to come, mourners to come by and, and you know, pay their last respects in the home of the person who died. Uh, and... They'd be in the the parlor, so the dead person be in the house for a few days, and it was believed if the if the dearly departed caught a glimpse of themselves in the mirror, the ghost would remain in the house because the mirror would trap their spirit. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of scary. That's yeah, actually that's pretty terrifying. Yeah, that's weird. Well, just having a dead body in your house. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, we've created like a stigma around it, but still, like we're not exposed to dead bodies like they were a long time ago. It's so removed. But I just feel like it'd be weird if, like, I don't know, like yeah, yeah. I don't know. We're just culturally not used to that. I was listening to a thing on NPR yesterday, really briefly about like the Victorian era and how like everybody assumes they're like obsessed with death. Yeah, and they kind of were. But that was just the way it was. That was just like how you had to live life. And like Queen Victoria, when her husband died, she was like in her mourning garb for like in black. She wore black for like decades like it, yeah. you had like a mourning period of however long you felt like you needed to mourn yeah. but it was usually it was typically like a month or two it wasn't like decades yeah oh so my God. yeah i don't know um anyway yeah so there's also this is what we were talking about at the very top of the episode uh about how you can stare into a mirror and see some shit yeah this is the scientific explanation for it. Um, so if you're in a dimly lit room for a prolonged period of time, your eyes can definitely play tricks on you. Like, I can't stand dim dim light. It, like, fucks with my eyes. Your eyes play tricks, but your brain plays tricks, too, because there's no stimulus. Yeah. So- you, you either get real sleepy or you're, like, your brain is very activated and still trying to, like... Make sense or something. Make sense. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like a a sensory deprivation in a way yeah um so yeah you could see if you stare in a mirror in a really dimly lit room for a long time uh you're and you're staring at yourself your facial features can appear to melt or distort or disappear or rotate yeah and you can like have like actual hallucinations like your brain is very like we've said it before it's very powerful uh you can you can induce these things in your brain without drugs. Uh, it's all there already. Like yeah. LSD just triggers these things that are already there. Um, so this can just happen if you have the right uh, uh, environment for it, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you could see weird like animals, strange faces um, in the sky. Giovanni Caputo writes that this phenomenon, uh, which he calls the strange face illusion, is believed to be a consequence of a dissociative identity effect, which causes the brain's facial recognition system to misfire in an as yet unidentified way. Wow. It's trippy. That's really fucking trippy. Yeah. It's scary. It kind of relates back to sleep paralysis again. Like there's a part of your brain that will just like take over. Mm -hmm. and and make you think you're seeing things or whatever yeah totally very interesting yeah um 
and psychologists have done studies with adults yeah not and it's not just like little kids so if you if yeah i don't know because that's what you think it's like little kid hysteria or whatever because you don't do this as an adult it's uh, i mean by then you're kind of like i know it's bs yeah. And also, I don't want to spend time in my bathroom with, like, a group of people. <laughs> like, <laughs> or like, do you? <laughs> or do I? Well, I do, but it, things, but I want it to It smells be like more... shit in your bathroom because you have <laughs> yeah. a phantom taking shits in there. <laughs> no, it's just, like, if I'm going to get a group of people in my bathroom, things are going to get wet and wild. Do you know what I mean? I do. <laughs> Kentucky meat shower. <laughs> It's a Long Beach meat shower. Uh, um, it smells like the ocean in here. <laughs> it smells like dead fish in here. Mm, mm. Mm, Long is that, Beach. Sardine. Mm. Um, uh, no, that's Jessica. Like fish. <laughs> yeah. um, I know her oh. anywhere. <laughs> Smells like dick cheese. Smells like Bigfoot's dick. (laughs) (laughs) Smells like Bigfoot's dick. Uh, Well, that's all I got for this particular topic. I'm 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 gonna go put my I'm gonna go put my Morticia Adams garb on and get ready for the to scare the children. (laughs) So exciting. Yeah. I'm going to maybe Actually, watch I do a kind of, movie. We do kind of scare kids when we used to have a fog machine, but it broke. Um, uh-huh. And we and the kids would just be like, uh, no. <laughs> and the parents would be like, well, we'll just get it for you. Because <laughs> you have to like walk up some steps and we're like at the top like, come on, little kids. <laughs> <laughs> come and get your candy. And they're like crying and shit. Whoops. <laughs> so it's probably for the best that it broke, but oh. we love it. Do you play like a spooky tape outside too? Yeah, like Ooh, spooky sounds. Did you ever? Did you have spooky sounds when you were a little kid? Yeah, but we had it for Halloween, and uh, yeah. and my parents would play it by the door. And then I remember trying to listen to it by myself one day, just like not on Halloween. Oh, and I, it was scary. I fucking listened to that like for fun. <laughs> for fun, <laughs> I put that shit on my Walkman and. And my B-52s and I had my spooky sounds and I just sit in my room like a goddamn creeper <laughs> and they were, listen to that. I was at a coffee shop earlier and they were like, happy Halloween. And they gave me a piece of candy for free with my um, – it was gross though. It was like old. I didn't eat it. Ew. It was like a little mini Kit Kat and I opened it and it was all like powdery and I was like, oh, what happened gross. to this? I don't want it. But I was like doing my work and listening to just like music and – they had over their speakers creepy Halloween sounds, and so it kept like weaving into the regular music I was listening to. Ooh. It was weird. All of a sudden, I'd hear like or whatever, like while I'm listening to like Joe Walsh, and I was like, <laughs> "This is weird." Oh my god, Joe Walsh is that you? <laughs> That's really funny. Oh man, yeah, I think I'm gonna put on some creepy music. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to put a lot of makeup on, put some false eyelashes on and real dark lipstick. Fun. And I have like a, a black long wig. So I'm going to just creep out some little kids tonight. But we're the house that has the good candy. So they're willing to risk it. (laughs) Yeah. Good. Yeah. We're, we, we always like decorate. We do the most. We're so fucking extra on Halloween. So. (laughs) it's just fun and why not it's so fun it's my favorite i love it um yeah yeah cool yeah dude um everybody have a uh i hope you had a happy and safe halloween i mean this is oh yeah it's over by now it's over by now but um uh happy uh day after yeah uh oh yeah all hollows all hollows eve do do you De Los, De Los Muertos is tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Yep. Um, follow us on social meds at DTFU Podcast on yeah. all the platforms. Also, our email is DTFU Podcast at gmail.com. Also, our website is DTFU Podcast.com. So, yeah. I mean, take your pick. Take your pick. Um, yeah, if you guys feel like uh, uh, contributing to our Patreon, it's uh, Patreon. 
facebook.com slash DTFU podcast. If you enjoy original content that isn't um, some fucking bullshit, (laughs) that's cool as hell. That's like fun and light. That's fun and light and weird. With a lot of laughter. That's what we got for you. Um, yeah, that's all I got. We're, I'm going to do my best to uh, get a mailing address set up for cool. us. Uh, but it's proving to be weird, actually. <laughs> the post office by me is never fucking open. I can go right now and get one. I just don't know if it's like too expensive. I'm going we'll- to go to... I'm going to try to go to UPS and see what they got going on, like UPS oh, okay. store, because they yeah, do yeah, that too. Cool. So yeah. I'm going to go online and see what that is. So anyway. All right. Um, yeah. Um, uh, cool. Yeah. Um, share with a friend, you guys. Yeah, please. That'd we, be awesome. Yeah. If you want to leave a review too, that'd be cool. We got some new ones in. The, yeah. Uh, like very cool. Very nice. It's it's always joyful uh, and sweet to see those uh, That's reviews. so sweet. You guys, it's one so cool. is just her. Like it's so good. Like no, yeah. you don't need to even write anything more than that. Yeah. Put, get your herfs in. Yeah. <laughs> a variation could be herfs up, girl. Um, her, yeah. I heard the love wild this herf. podcast. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Herf City, USA. Herf City, USA. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. 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 We, uh, either way, or you know, just uh, or just listen, and and we will appreciate you no matter no matter what. Herfy Simplex One. <laughs> and we all we all got favorite, it, you guys. Herfy Herfy Brown. <laughs> Herfy Brown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, we happy love Halloween. you. We love you. Uh, stay spooky, my friends. And and be excellent. Be excellent to each other. Okay. Goodbye. Bye bye.